What's happening people, this is Ernest Go, and I'm going to be showing you how to swap out your big character portraits in Mugen for a sprite of your character. So kind of just like them standing there um, or whatever pose you want really. Uh, right, let me open up my Mugen just to give you an example of what I mean. Um, I haven't done it with all my characters yet. Um, I've done most of them, <coughs> uh, but I'll just show you the ones that I have done. Uh, okay. Right, so for example, you can see I've got the big character portraits on these guys. Um, today I've got the actual character sprite, which I prefer, it just looks better. Um, so I'm showing you how to swap out the portraits for the sprites. Right. The first thing you'll need to do is open up Fire Factory. Um, now this is the only thing I know how to do in this program. I don't know how to edit sprites, I don't know how to change colours, I don't know how to edit palettes, I don't know how to change hit sparks, I don't know none of that. The only thing I know how to do is swap palettes. Alright, so what you want to be doing is go to open character um, and obviously point to where your Mugen characters are. Um, who haven't I done? Who haven't I done? Scroll down to someone. Who haven't I done? Um, do I have done these people already? All right, yeah. So scroll down to character. Um, all right, let's just say Kim. And open up the DEF file that's in there. There's only one file. Open that up. And then you click on sprites. <clears throat> all right. So what you want to be looking for, this bar here, is all the sprites for that character. You scroll through it, you'll see all these animations and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Um, basically, what you want to look for, what I do, you can have any sprite as a pose. So if you want that, you can have that. Um, what I tend to look for is not their standard, not their default standing pose. But um, maybe a taunt or something. Um, nothing too over the top, no attacks because it takes up too much space and I just want it to look kind of posy. So I'll normally go to their taunts till I find one I like. That'll do. <clears throat> and when you've got it, you click on save PSX and just save it as whatever, Kim, whatever, in the same folder and that will save it as a PSX. Now what you need to do is find the big portrait. Big portraits are always group 9000 and image 1. So that is the big portrait we're going to be replacing with his sprite. <clears throat> so once you've found it, what you then do is you go to open BS PSX and point to the Sprite you just saved, you'll see a preview of it there. Double click on it and click on open. And now it's opened up, it's replaced your big portrait. Now, what you have to do is open up versus select. Now, you don't need versus select, but this just makes it so much easier because what you need to do is position the sprite so that it's not too far across or too up, depending on what um, screen pack you're using. So what I found out quick way of doing it, instead of opening up your Mugen all the time and going to that character just to select, if you open up versus select um, and open up your load up your screen pack, when you actually click on your characters, it will show you without you having to load up Mugen and adjust it each time. So what you do, obviously this is already set to load up my screen pack. What you do is click on open motive and just choose whatever screen pack it is you're using um, and then you can just set it to always open that one up and then where are we we go to Kim uh, if I can find the guy All right so there's Kim I haven't saved well that wasn't gonna happen All right <clears throat> yeah so even though I swapped the palette over the sprite over sorry in Fire Factory, I haven't saved it yet. 
So if I click on save now, save all, it will save what I've done. So now when I click on Kim, you can see I've got a sprite there instead, but it's completely in the wrong place. So all you do is go back to Fighter Factory, you can drag this around or use the arrows to adjust it to where you want it. Um, there's no preset place to put it, just keep adjusting it, click on save. Um, click off your character and click on it again to see where he is um, and just position it wherever you want to position it what I tend to do is position mine lined up so that they're just about in line with the bottom with that line here because the character name shows up right about here so I don't want them behind it so I just want them just above it so just keep doing it until it's lined up so it still needs to go across a bit more um, and down a bit, click save once you've readjusted it click off your character, click back on it so that that's pretty much right um, could probably bring it over a little bit more and down a bit more click save click off, click on that's it, done, simple as that so now that his big portrait has been replaced with that so that's save, so if I now open my Mugen. This guy should be sitting nicely. Um, where I'll put him. So I'll go over to Timmy. There we go. Sorted. Um, as I said, that's pretty much the same with any other character. So you can see there, these are the ones that I have done. I've tried to line them up, you know, as even as I can not too posy poses but that's it um, one thing you can do also uh, the portrait picture is not always at the beginning when you're looking for this for the right so you may need to scroll all the way through depends on who the character maker is sometimes they put it at the end sometimes it's in the middle sometimes it's random but it's always in there um, so yeah so just look for it but other than that, that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped. And yeah, peace.